Well, the media are predicting a wave of Democratic wins in 2018 to flip seats, but they may now be, well, on hold after a Montana GOP candidate accused of assault still wins by six points. Uh, joining me now, former Bush 43 senior advisor, Carl Rove. Carl, it's good to have you here. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Uh, really quick, I want to ask you, this has kind of been talked about today, the early voting in Montana. How much weight are you putting on the theory that the only reason that he won was because there was early votes that had already been submitted? Uh, I don't put uh, much in it. Um, it would have been better for uh, June 40 had he not uh, body slammed the reporter, but he he won by a significant enough margin that uh, you can't blame this all on the early voting. If 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 he had to win the early voting by a very significant margin, if he then lost election day, and uh, that doesn't appear to be the case. You know, Carl, as somebody who has dedicated his life in particular to the Republican Party, does it trouble you what you saw in Montana this week? Well, uh, a little bit, but let's let's take a look at it. Last last fall, uh, Congressman Zinke, the, the incumbent Republican, won by a margin of 56 to 41, and three points to the Libertarian, the other the other parties on the ballot. Mm -hmm. uh, Gian Forty is not an incumbent. He got 50 percent. Uh, Quist, the Democrat, outspent him. He received over six million dollars in campaign contributions for a guy who'd never run for office and uh, and six percent went to the libertarians so the republicans dropped six but that's not a lot if you're looking at, at, at Zinke being an incumbent a couple of that points is probably the fact that he was the incumbent and got votes that would traditionally go to a democrat and the democrat only gained three despite the fact that he had the entire weight of the bernie sanders wing of the democratic party pouring money into his campaign left and right and my suspicion is the people who who would have been inclined to vote for uh, Gen 40, except for the fact that he uh, body slammed the reporter, they mm. probably ended up over here in the plus three for the libertarian. So, but no, the bottom line is I would be worried about it. If, if, I'd be more worried about it if it was Georgia. Uh, we're going to lose seats in 2018. There's, it's very unusual. Out of, out of the last uh, 20 midterm elections, mm -hmm. uh, the White House party has lost seats in 18 of 20. But the question is, are the Democrats going to be uh, gaining 50 or 60 seats or even the 24 mm -hmm. that, uh, that they need to gain the majority? We, we don't have evidence of that yet. Uh, we've got plenty of time to go between now and the 2018 election. But so far, the Democrats are not winning these seats or picking yeah. up seats that they should, that they should if this is going to be a huge wave against him. 